Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, guys. This weekend, if you know me, you know weekend is my thing. <laughs> anyway, this is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. We are an entertainment analysis show that does it better than nobody else, if I do say so myself. We basically analyze, break down, digest, regurgitate, digest it again. All the things that happen that are important. If it's not big enough, sorry, darling, we're not going to talk about it. And if the press is not big enough, sorry, we're not going to talk about it. So if your fave is big, trust me, we will talk about them. And when I say we, I mean Emerald and Ifolo Hello, people. Yes, that's me. Hi. What's up? <laughs> Bye -bye. How's it going? <laughs> How's it going? I'm blessed, man. Friday. Friday. Yes. Friday. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You know, I'm not even as excited about Friday as I am about sleeping on Friday mm -hmm. you know? so that I don't have to wake up mm -hmm. early. I've been upset every single day this week that I had to wake up early. Every day. That's allowed. But me, I'm just happy because it's Friday because the sleep, like you said, is very, very, very important. important. But I had very good sleep yesterday. That was a great mm. Yeah, he did, actually. Okay, yesterday. I, now we know how he first slept. Okay. <laughs> I was here this <laughs> I was here. Why? Why is your sleep I had, so, I had so good? Well, very good sleep, actually. And it's actually going to be better today because there's actually nothing to do tomorrow. So, right. Yeah. Mm. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not so hyped about the Friday, except for my show that's happening today. But I said okay. that. Okay, girl. Nah. Why not? What about tomorrow? Weekend in general. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, because Saturday, I Saturday, I have Sunday. Mm. And yeah, I so. think, yeah, time to rest and all mm -hmm. that. Okay, well, I mean, we're, we're going to try and keep this conversation very jumpy, very happy. It's Friday. We have to yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. we have guests. I mean, we don't have guests, but I mean, we're guests already. Right? Mm -hmm. We're personalities. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Alex, amazing topics. On. We have music, cool music, throwback. So, like, it's time to just get your tea with us and have a good time. So, reports uh, that, the Kanye, that Kanye West is worth nearly $7 billion are based on the magical thinking around sales that don't yet exist. Mm. This is why he's currently worth less than one-third of that. Mm. One-third. Mm. On Wednesday, multiple outlets reported that Kanye West is the richest black man in America, worth as much as $6.6 billion. The news comes after Bloomberg reported that his Snickers brand, Yeezus, as well as Yeezy Gap, which has yet to sell one stitch of clothing, have a combined value of as much as $4.7 billion. The publication mentioned, without going into full details, an addition of $1.7 billion in assets. So that's where the money jump came. It's not true. Based on their calculation, Forbes estimates he's worth less than a third of that, or $1.8 or $1.8 billion. That a big jump from the last May when Forbes pegged him, pegged his net worth as 1.3 billion. I know we're throwing billions around, but stick with me. But nowhere near as much as the reported 6.6 .6 billion. Get it? So Vista Equity remains the richest. Um, Vista Equity is Robert F. Smith. He remains the richest black man in the U.S. worth an estimate of 6 billion. While Alinko Dangote of Nigeria is worth 11.8 billion and is the richest black person in the mm. world. Okay, On period. On period. Mm. The sky high estimate is the latest of West's attempt to inflate his net worth. In the past, he said that Forbes was purposely snubbing him. So that's a very interesting run And I had to read every, uh, even I, the part that he inflates his net worth because I didn't think about it and like that. And the fact that it was snubbing him as well. Exactly. So he wanted the news to get out exactly. there. Yeah. Exactly. 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 He gets it. exactly. Like he was doing it intentionally. intentionally. Yeah. And yes, that, make, that makes a lot of sense. Especially and for Kanye West but, and his personality. But please, let's talk about Saliko Dangote. See, that's <laughs> some bragging. Right. Now, there's no woman that is helping you. There's no Adidas. There's no gap. No, there it's is just spaghetti and, and salt and, and cement. cement. And, and refinery, my guy. You see, they're big and business. Enough investment. They're enough. See, those they're enough. enough to they're they're more bigger more than your. They're clearly. bigger than your clothes mm -hmm. brands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, are you joking? So he's richer than the richest man in America. Amazing. Like, when I saw the story, I was like, when I got the info, I was like, wow. Because really? you know, I'm, I'm thinking. Ben Lewis messed up, you know. Who? Now that I'm thinking about it, she. She's <laughs> she messed up. She's she, very she ruined a very good relationship. She's very stupid. Very, very. I think those. You can't, she cannot tell me that she doesn't have a village in yeah. America that's like a village gunning for her just, because no, it can't, it can't no, be. No, that thing can't be. It can't be. You can't be with physical high. It's metaphysical. <laughs> 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 because obviously, I mean, I know it's tradition for us to follow up with the story mm. when we start something. Once to finish it, you know. So obviously, when there's an update, this one, they just they were all out to Rihanna. Um, and when they're done with that, I'm talking about the girl anymore. I'm 
I'm talking about um, Kanye West, you know, like one of my is full up on the story and all that. I didn't think I would be talking about Alinko Dangote, if mm. that makes oh, sense. True. Okay. She true. get like, I didn't think I'm, so, just talk, so. I'm talking about the biggest, um, richest man in America. America. Like, I think it's going to be huge. And, and then, then Nigeria then, just comes up. And then now Nigeria, oh, not, like, not our country, not UK, <laughs> not Nigeria. Germany, not a strong Russian economy, not China. Not a Filibo, not a Filibo thing. A little dangle, like, 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 like a, a very typical. Yes, a very typical Nigerian name. Guy, it's he not, has it's two not heads. heads. You cannot tell me anything. Ah, I'm not going to start with the second head. Because I'm like, ah! <laughs> you've got it here, sir. You've entered this news. Eleven point something billion. That's a lot well, are you re are you like surprised? Yes, well, I have. I'm really not. We're not surprised that it's a richer. We're just surprised that it came up in okay, this conversation. Okay, in this conversation, no, no, all right. I think what surprises me is that I've it's never really done. You know when they say you're the richest black man in the world? Wow, like it's it, just. It, it, it sounds just, like it's like yeah, 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 so, yeah. We know to get money. When you now say the black man, you're including black people in outside America. of Africa. Yeah. It makes the brag bigger. I've never thought about it that way. I just thought he was the king of the jungle in terms of Africa. Africa. <laughs> king of the jungle. jungle. That's really. I mean, uh, we're, we're a beautiful jungle. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to shade anyone. I love my jungle. You call us Tarzan. No, now, guy, we are a beautiful. Uh, foresty place, wow. so that's that's very okay. Forest what? Foresty, foresty place. place. Uh -huh. Yes, now we are. We, we don't have skyscrapers and stuff. Yeah, we do. We do, but we still have quite a lot of nature. We live in a jungle. We don't live in a jungle. You get but what? But we mean. have jungle. We do have jungles. Yeah. The most jungles <laughs> in the world. Have you been to any jungle? <laughs> I have. Oh. What jungle? I've, sky. Um. Um. I've hiked in SA, Johannesburg. I'm talking big, about Nigeria. Big jungle. I'm talking about, she was talking about Africa. The king of the entire freaking jungle. Continent. Yes, entire jungle. Just completely. <laughs> In fact, jungle, anything. <laughs> anyway, I've never really put it like that. Like, like you know, he's mm, actually yeah. I get you, king though. of the every single black man in the UK, America. He's king again. Why are you making me like Prince Akin? That's, that's, that's what he is. If you're going to use king, See, if you're going to use king in any context, it is now. Not your MCM that mm. you say, oh, my king, mm. my baby. No. This is the time that you use king to explain someone. Would you, and it would you refer perfectly. to your men as king? <laughs> you were saying you say. I swear, like. No, would uh, you? Would you? I've never. Would you? But I, I don't I've, know I've never. Would I've you guys never. like to refer to as queens? Of course, if you want to. <laughs> I mean, take, take you. Take, I'll take any compliment you give me. I'm just not that cheesy. But King, like, I have never, I've, I've never, never done to. it. I've never had a need to. Mm. Baby, support, love, half an hour, <laughs> Support, like yes, that. Now. That's your pet name, support. No, I'm saying like way to describe the person. You're asking about description now, or do you mean like baby? It's a pet name. She's yeah, talking like about a pet. Name. Uh, no. <laughs> hey, King. No. <laughs> I feel like I just dropped my It's mom. not even like. Nah, it's not my name. I thought your pet name was support. <laughs> hey, I say, yeah, hey, my guy is a good digger. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> is it not support? Hey, support. <laughs> okay. Hey, but. Hey, ATF. <laughs> 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 Alright, guys, we're going to have to wrap up because we're going to call me AT. Anyway, so yeah, that's really huge. But going back to Kanye West, mm. though. Um, I remember the, we had a special quote uncle yesterday. Oh. Uh, his name was Wale. And Wale mm. said, you know, it's crazy that this man is where he is because he feels like everything that makes him odd or irrational it's is the reason him. why he's like that. Yeah. And you see, I thought about that as well when I thought about the story that even this whole thing of like blowing up your trumpet mm. for yourself, because best believe it's going to affect sales. Mm. Best believe it's going to make sales. People are going to want to know about um, Easy's Gap. Don't now I know and, Easy's and Gap. They're going to, and his fans are going to want to put him there. Exactly. Now they're saying this at the things that they are projecting to it happen. Yeah. So now they're going to make it, it happen a it lot is faster a, than we expect. It is a formula. It has happened with everything from mm. sm small scale to large scale. Guys, I need to get to 1,000. Put mm. that out there. You mm. get to 1,000. You will get there. Even if it's in two days, a minute, one year, you will get to that 1,000. There are going to be people who would really, like, want to support that personal. energy. People are wired that way. Yeah. I think I'm one of those people as well. Like, yeah. my, my friends just call me hype man. As soon as I see a passion, that's my passion. And you see what's holding it back. Yeah, that's my passion. Because I've noticed, like, even with, like, work and stuff, hustles and stuff, I don't really have something that I say, okay, oh, this is my thing. No. I'm, my thing is 
working with somebody who has a thing. Mm -hmm. Like, if you say, oh, I really want to do this, and I'm, I'll carry it on my head. So now, I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only person. There's, like, billions of us. So yeah. he's going to get there. So this thing is actually really smart. And he's done that with a lot of other things. Now, the Sunday, Sunday thing that he used to do, mm -hmm. that so glory, whatever, fire, whatever. Yeah. You know, nothing was in debt. Like, proper debt. Like, he didn't have money. He was sued and dragged. Mm -hmm. Like, he wasn't paying staff. wasn't mm -hmm. doing any of those mm -hmm. things. But mm -hmm. this guy will come online and tell you that it's the most, it's the most successful thing that's ever happened. And da 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 da, -da. And guess what? And that, that hype... Finally happened. It's what actually, actually won the Grammy as, as so well because would, that was all about Jesus, his King album. Basically, mm. and I would describe him as a proper con artist, in my opinion. And oh. I think he's doing amazing at that. I okay. think artist is still inside. I swear. So you can still <laughs> win the Grammys. Last last. Con artist. I, I'm telling you. My guys. Okay, well, you, I like smart. that you said Grammys now. Do you think that Jesus is King was a scam? No, it wasn't. No. It wasn't. It was a proper. It huh? was a proper. No, what I, I mean is, like, do you think that he made a Christian album intentionally? Of course! Yeah. Of course! Yeah. It's like, when Lil Wayne, it's, it's like when Lil Wayne made the rock album, mm -hmm. it's like when Lil Wayne made the pop album, it's like when Lil Wayne made the rap album, yeah. and he won awards for all of them. That was intentional. Intentional. Do you understand? But so Kanye was like, I can achieve this. We're making a Christian album. Like, that would do you go know the, global. the market? What? The it's completely different. Now you and have he has album. untouched territory. So you going there is also a business. Um, right on that Ron Kenoli, you have Kanye West and you have Don Wayne. Hmm. Can you just imagine <laughs> that? You know that stand? You have albums, you have Ron Kenoli, Don, uh, Kanye West, Don Wayne. In the same playlist. Hmm. How do they fit? Yeah, I don't know. So fuck. I was going. I was going. <laughs> okay, I'll just rest what I was going to say. No, no about this scam thing. That I said. Right. I was going to ask. Like, do you think it's really like a scam? The, no, the no, religious no. thing. Yeah. No, okay, I think, so I maybe think we're real. using the wrong word. No, I, I think mm. it was strategic to make that happen. I so think it was corn. Yeah. Corn. Yes, it was. You see that thing where like, if I do something, it happens to a lot of people, especially influencers. And I was close to her, but I'm not going to mention her name. Mm. She do. She did something one time, genuinely organic, right? And she's been doing things, and nobody cares. 31 mm. views, 50 views. And mm. then she did this one thing, just joko, and it blew up. Mm. Every other move from there about that organic thing well, they was eat strategic. Back to back. Ooh, just what I mean. Okay. It was not intentional. Like, mm. I have figured out what? a pool of opportunity there. I'm going to milk it. And mm. I think that's what Kanye West did. He might have had an experience with God, yes. But the drive and the strategy and the album and the, and the, game, and the title yeah. and the pushing and the, all of that okay. See, was a it very was all, it was strategic. I was thinking about the egos. You know, he was trying to start another way, it community. Worked for him or it working for he him. was trying to start another community that they were trying to bring down. Do Absolutely. you guys remember? And, um, you know, all of that, we, we, it was all in the news for all of that. So people were wondering, did this guy really find Jesus? He had Yeah, I was in that interviews. state as well. Yeah. Like, at some point, I was I like, think guess what? Yes. Well, would have found Jesus? He could have. Okay. But would that affect your business? Because I found Jesus doesn't mean I should not do business and continue I think in the strategy. way he has found Jesus and the way he portrays his finding Jesus is a bit interesting. Can you always have to talk about because he yes, mixes, he, he mixes yeah. sanity and insanity yeah. together. together. I was just he going to say that. He mixes truth and lie together. Like mm. he's not... He's I'm just going to say that, that Kanye yeah. West is not one of those people that we can really vouch for their yeah, character absolutely. and be like, because um, this is this person's and way they have done this. I hope that if you think about this, this when, when the divorce is finally over, uh, and this comes to this conversation, mm. and that we give that girl some slack, because I can't imagine marrying what she's going somebody through, like, that. like that. But, but I've always been in support of Kim. Like, she's a very strong woman. Oh, no, you were not in support like when, you said, when she mentioned the amount she wanted. No, the money came when she wanted to mention them. Kim hasn't mentioned what amount she wants. You were not in support of it. Yes, now don't you remember that? The money she came once. Oh yeah. Let's go. No, 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 no. Next. Tell me now. Tell me. No, it's remind okay. me. Okay, so next story. We have to. Okay, move let's on. go. Yeah, no. Okay, so we're going to move to the Nigerian teams for a second. Lori Ida Hosa, pastor of the Church of God Mission International, has apologized to Nollywood veteran Peter Doce after she called him out for saying his mother married at the age of 15. In a recent interview, Idoche revealed that his father, who was almost 40, married his mother at the age of 15. 
In a video posted via her Instagram page, um, Idahosa apologized to Idochi over her comments. The mother of three said her tweet was misinterpreted. Idahosa said that she realized that the tweet was misinterpreted and then she took it down. It would be recalled that Idahosa called out the movie veteran for saying his mom married at the age of 15 and how can you laugh about her being shy? And I quote Oga, she was not shy. She was a victim of rape and, uh, and was a child bride. She wasn't, respectful of, she wasn't respectful of his age. She was afraid for her life. Know the difference and adjust the story. Start telling the truth. This is what she's apologizing for. In an interview, it, uh, it, um, Idoche, Idoche actually advised women to creatively... Mm, in that same interview, he also advised women to creatively adopt ways to discourage their husbands from cheating. Okay, the floor is open, guys. Still, All right, so, uh, okay, go still on. Still on that matter yeah. of um, encouraging your husband mm. without cheating. Hmm. That whole interview, not just that, that matter. Interview. That whole oh, interview okay. was ripped. I mean, um, she's saying that what she tweeted, people misunderstood what she... It was clearly written there, so I don't know why she's saying that, oh, this is not what I meant, I meant it this way. Okay, so if you want to say something, say it and stand for it. The reason why I think a lot of people are beginning to change their stance. Now, a lot of people saw it as a man coming out to speak for men. Do you understand? A lot of people did not put Peter Doce's time and age into consideration mm -hmm. when he put out that tweet. Now, his own way, his level of thinking, his level of exposure, the way of life back then was totally different from the things we're trying to make happen now. So a lot of people, did. so the moment everybody realized that Baba is close to 80, Baba had parents that got married at uh, the age of 50. Okay, I'm very confused. But before you continue, let's just see her apology okay. herself. Um, the video? The video apology herself. Okay. okay, so we see what she's talking about. Can we have that, please? Pastor Laurie Idahoso. And I would like to render a sincere apology to Chief Pete Adoche and his family for the comment that I made on the Linda KG post on Instagram. It was never intended to cause you any embarrassment or harm. In fact, when I realized that it could be interpreted differently from what I intended to communicate, I quickly deleted the post. Unfortunately, it was screen grabbed and it became a trending topic. I want to wish you well, sir, and to wish your family well. My sincere apologies for any embarrassment you may have felt by my comment. God bless. I understood her personally. One-on-one glass. Well, we're live, guys. So, yes, we're back. What's good? Yeah, we know we're live. It's just like very... We're also uh, interacting with the video, just like the video. Like, the way you guys look lost. I didn't it's, even know you were... No, we're not lost. It, me, not lost. I'm completely... Like, you can't find me anymore with this story. Like, I've, I've misplaced... So, why are you, why are you mad? The fact people. that she's apologizing. I don't she's apologizing. what she's apologizing for. She's apologizing because... was very clear. Mm -hmm. And it was very also factual. A bright marriages is a child who's under 18. Mm -hmm. yes. She was 15. Mm -hmm. No doubt. So it's a child bride marriage. But, but that was, what is the issue? Was it the law back then? That was does it matter? It does, it does matter. It does. It Wait. matters. Who we'll put it out there? Wait, if again, I put we that out tell. there now, there was no place he mentioned. You should have every right to be this shocked. You but know, if a Pete and Duce puts it out, come on. There was no, what is, while what he was talking true? about his mom and dad, marriage and all, there, there was no... I watched the video. There was no place he mentioned that also my mom suffered or she was not happy. It doesn't or this, matter. That, that. I know, I know, but this was, he was four, he was in his early 40s, I mean his father. So this should, even maybe 50s. But that does not like, say, okay. I don't think the, the law now existed then. Okay, so I don't think that changes anything, in my opinion. If somebody says that, um, like in the early, early, early times in America, for example, with racism, mm. where they would pick pretty girls mm. and take them inside, mm. right? It was legal. Mm. If I then speak for the person, maybe if, uh, the, 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 the white person's grandchild is on TV saying, you know, it was nice, they had a lovely relationship, and da 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 da, da. If I say to you that, well, they, she didn't have a choice, it doesn't take away from the fact that she didn't have a choice. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Whether it was allowed, whether it was a different time, it is still wrong. 
So when she said, when she said, it's is it is not a man. It's not. She made a point. She made a point. So coming out to say I'm sorry. The fact that she took it back didn't make sense, and I think I was even more irritated by her apology because I feel like she should have been more specific with her apology. Yeah. Are you apologizing? Yeah. Are you apologizing for the fact that she was a child bride? Because she she was. Whether or not she liked it, she was allowed. It was in that time. The Bible the Bible said so. The law said so. It was still a child bride. And was that fair to the child? No. Hmm. So why are you apologizing for that? Are you apologizing for the misinterpretation? Or maybe you... Like, girl, talk to me nicely. Because she, it's obvious she that she was because she was bombarded. she was referring straight to Pete Adoche. And what's the problem with that? Wait, um, <laughs> but he was the one no, who made the video. He was the, no, he was the one making the video, but he didn't know better. Or he doesn't know So why better. are you apologizing for that? So she's because apologizing it's not an excuse, for you directing fair? it to him. I think she's apologizing because she did not just put it out there. Like, okay, this is what we should be talking about. About. I think she's apologizing because obviously back they've, door. They've, I'm they've, telling they've you, hit period. Her from all angles. Period. You can't, you can't. Do you know who he is? Yes, da, 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 and all exactly. Family and all of that. So it looks bad. bad. Yes. I think so. No, that's how it looks case, like. That's terrible. That's how it looks like because. No, she, I feel like she just realized that no man, this is not the man. Like this is a man that has given us a lot. You know, he's doesn't mean if he says something no that doesn't that, that, not, that doesn't count. You can't count her. TV, black TV, American, and he did what he did. American granddad. See, I'm telling you. In fact, the world's granddad was the first granddad I saw on TV. Hmm. No cap. But you do something wrong, you do something wrong, guys. I'm getting hot. This conversation is like joking. Joking. Yeah. Joke. Nothing. Joking. Of your no. Of your no. Oh, guys. <laughs> after this, we're going on a nice break. We'll come back with better mm. chill conversations. So go anywhere. Cho, cho, cho.